What's up, guys? It's Julian. My buddy Jose just got here. He's picking me up. We're gonna go do some bass fishing right now. We're gonna hit up some lakes, hit up some canals. I'm gonna try some new spots out. I got on my tackle, my new tackle in here with me. Um, so yeah, follow us as uh, as we go out and we try to bring you some cool footage. There he is, fishing the tropics right there. Look at that, true fisherman, guys. He's got this kayak in here, got his fishing rods. We're ready. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna fish hard. We'll see you guys out there. <clears throat> What's up guys, it's Julian. Here with my buddy Jose, fishing the tropics. We just got to the first spot right here. Little canal spot. We're gonna try a couple different baits, throw out some jigs, throw out some top waters, see if we can get something to bite the bait. Stay tuned. I don't like that clip though, dude. No, it, it's hard to take off sometimes. Where's he at? Right here, it came off easy, but it's hard to put on sometimes. Like I just don't like it because it catches onto the hooks. Yep, that too. It's not good for the top of it. He's actually interested. Oh, look at the turtle, dude. Ah, don't go back in there. Oh, there you go. There we go, guys. Just hooked up on a nice peacock bass. <laughs> Gonna bring him over here to the side. Been trying to catch this guy for a while now. He's actually pretty nice. Take a look, guys. Nice little butterfly peacock bass. Hold this for me, brother, really quick. Check it out, guys. This is on my old school Rapala. I mean, they still sell them. It's not like it's retired or something. But uh, I actually haven't used this. This Trapala in probably hey. like 15 there years. Let me try to get this guy right here. Get you guys a close up look. Check that out. Beautiful peacock bass. They're feisty guys. It's gonna get a release on him really quick. Check him out, guys. Beautiful peacock bass. Look at those colors on him, guys. A well-deserved catch, let me tell you, because we've been trying out this guy for a little bit. Yeah, bro, help me out. Let me go. <laughs> See you later, buddy. You good? Up on a peacock bass, bedding right here. I hooked him up with the peacock that I spotted right here. A lot of you guys have been asking me, how do you spot bass in the water? Well, one way that you spot them is having a nice pair of polarized, you know, that basically clears up any disturbance in the water and allows you to cut right through and see directly to the bottom right here i can't i can't tell exactly what you guys see but i can literally see the grass and jose just hooked up on that nice peacock you hear that drag screaming i saw that take we got a nice little bedding peacock i can see him in the water fighting really nice check that uh, check that out guys let me get you guys a close-up right here Jose's fighting him right there in the water. Butterfly peacock bass here in Miami, fishing out of Kendall. Come on, buddy, bring him in. It's enough playing around with him. Yeah. Look at those colors, guys. Look at that sweet. Pe Look at that peacock right there. Jose just hooked get, up on. Let me get him some. I got you, bro. Right there. Let me get you. That baby Rapala, guys. Look at that. Look at the colors on him. This guy's actually been through a lot. Look, he looks like he got into a fight with one. It's all scuffed up on the side. Look at that little baby Rapala lure. Beautiful. We're coming towards the end of the spawn right now from the, from the looks of it. Me and Jose have been talking about it and we're really not seeing them on beds too much. But uh, this is actually a nice one. You going to weigh that one or are you going to just toss them back in? I'll toss them back in. Toss them back in? Close to two maybe. But... Look at the colors on that, guys. Look at the tail right there. He's a sweet one. Really nice looking peacock bass. Always good to have some pliers handy, guys. Right there, got the Rapala right out. Let's get a nice little release on this on this peacock bass right here. Jose's gonna send them back on his way. Check that out, guys. See you later, buddy. He just, he just wet us up. <laughs> good catch, brother. Thank you, boy. That was fun. See, guys, the key to finding these fish is taking your time, looking through. 
and a nice set of polarized doesn't matter what the polarized is you know i mean it does kind of but you know get yourself a decent pair of polarized and you can see right through the water mine are ten dollars and i saw the fish the same way i just skipped it there you go around, but, but i saw them. yeah definitely that's one of the best way you guys can uh find these peacock bass out here good pair of polarized and depending on the season right now we're coming towards the end of spring working our way into summer so right now if you're looking for bass largemouth bass peacock bass you know look along the bank look for little rock piles near the shore little grass beds little sand beds a lot of times that's where you're going to find your peacock bass and your largemouth bass sometimes you just need to set it on them you see what i'm saying Hit it, like a, hit it like a real peacock bass. Oh yeah, he's lit up though now. All right guys, we're trying to piss off this peacock bass right here. Because we have no lives. Look, he's pissed though, bro. You're about to get him. Ooh. Ooh, that's why. <laughs> Better get out of the way of that one, boy. Don't yeah, no, don't worry about it. Yeah, no, yeah you, you were a little bit close there, buddy. Oh man, come on, cousin. Oh, dude, I think you have you had a hook on him for like a while. <laughs> just said it a while ago. He was just carrying the hook around everywhere. You're about to get him. Come on. There you go. There you go. Don't let him break you off up in there. Check that out, guys. Tiny little peacock, but he is beautiful. Look at those colors on him. Got him right at the bottom of the gills. On that nice little uh, rattle trap. Get a close one on that rattle trap, dude. Sweet, huh? Just barely. This is a, this is a little juvenile right here. Nice little peacock bass, nice little colors on them. Send him back on his way. Nice spot, brother. Thank you. Yeah. I just hope I don't fall on the way. Yeah, I'm gonna walk slowly because I'm not trying to. There you go. Adios, amigo. I see right now. I don't even see him. He must be way down there. Man, I can't even. Yeah, he... Oh, I see him. He's on the right. He's swimming yeah. towards me. Here, let's walk this way. I don't even know if that's the same one, though, bro. The one that I saw first was blue. Oh, he's going for it. Yeah. Took it. There you go, guys. Oh, no. that yeah, though. that hook set was that sweet, was bro. Hardcore hook set. Sweet job, brother. You see, when they're hungry, they're hungry. Though. Yeah, something, something jumping in the water, something explodes. Hey, my fish, bro. Already swimming by. Let's see if we can find some that are real aggressive. There we go. Ooh, Ooh this is a, oh, it's a little one, but he pulled hard. He's pulled. nice colors, though. Look at that. Three strikes. No. Ah, that's a good release, anyway. There we go. There we go, guys. I think I might have. Do I still got him on? It's a little largemouth. Man, I, I was huge, dude. I was there today. Oh, you got a big old peacock on the last time. He hit it hard, guys. A little largemouth on a Rapala X wrap. That one's more of the regular colored largemouth. The other one was light, like the peacock. See, guys? Nice little X wrap. 